Welcome back. Now, he is apparently the bad boy of the dance floor, having wowed for 15 seasons, sorry, Brendan, right. on Strictly Come Dancing. His celebrity partners have included Kelly Brook, Lulu, Anastasia, Sophie ellis Bexter, Lisa Snowden, and, of course, his winning partner from Series 1, Natasha Kaplinsky. Thanks for remembering. Mm, he's You're now welcome. going it alone to headline his own tour for six shows here in Ireland and many more across the UK. Brendan Cole, you're very welcome. Morning. Thank you. Thanks Good for morning. Me uh, thank you for coming in to chat, chat, chat to oh, us. Oh, oh, nice. I'm Anna. sure I'm not the first person to say that to you, am I? <laughs> that is beautiful. I've been excited about that all morning. <laughs> you won the first series of yeah. Strictly back in the late 70s. When back was it, when back was in the day, 2004, we, we, we did two back to back actually that first year. It was quite, quite a full on year. And uh, nobody knew what the show was going to bring. It was this, no. the big excitement and, I mean, a boring dancing show. It doesn't, yeah. it doesn't doesn't ring like, wow, what a fantastic show to watch. And there was just this magic on stage. We just, people warmed to it and it was, it just went bang. Well, was it as well, was it, Brendan, the, the whole relationship with the judges as well? That it worked, it was the instant the feedback, it was the... Every aspect of the show has something quite special and quite unique. Yeah. And back then, I don't think we, they hadn't had too many sort of panel shows. There'd been a, a, a few, yeah. but not none of that sort of nature where you're, you're judging a partnership like a couple, and a, yeah, yeah. and you've got the chemistry between the couples mm. and the, the the arguments between the couples. You know, you mentioned a few on there of my partners. I've certainly had a few arguments with with, with yeah. a few of them. Yeah. Uh, but at, at the same time, I've had fantastic relationships uh, within the show, and and just having that. You go through a journey together, you go through this little thing yeah. together and you, you support each other and if it works, if it's a fantastic relationship, you can have the best time on the but show. But the show has done an incredible job in making what would have been a bit of a fuddy-duddy hobby ballroom dancing Absolutely. really yeah. super sexy. Well, it certainly can be. You get that, you're you storytelling. You, yeah. You're on stage, you're, 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 you're telling a story about something that can be either really intimate or, or just a really lovely romantic, you know, a bit of Fred, Fred and Ginger. And, yeah. and the show sort of takes you through those moments. In, a, in any given show, you can be doing a, a beautiful romantic waltz or something, you know, a, a very spicy Argentine tango. And you see all levels and then you see the judges' comments, you see the relationship mm. between the couples and the judges. And mm. I'm always, you know... Well, sure actually, now. now that you mentioned that, we're all familiar with your fancy footwork uh, yeah. uh, for many seasons uh, on Strictly. But it was often the clashes with the judges and their comments that you weren't comfortable with, and you were quite fiery, weren't you? I'm an easy target, because if you say something I don't like, I'm, I'm probably going to pick up yeah. on it and, and, and have a say back. A lot of the guys will sort of take it to the dressing room and kick off in the dressing room for, for 20 minutes, get it out of the system and, and not do it on air. I, I tend to do my, my arguing on air, well, but I'm an easy target. label of the bad boy, was that qualify as a bad boy? Because you just actually, if someone says to you, you didn't do that right, you shouldn't. It, that was an illegal lift you put in there and you say, actually, no, it wasn't. Yeah, it goes, it goes back to the old days when I was, uh, you know, young and silly and mouthy and, and single yeah. and... Uh, yeah, well, I'm still mouthy, I'm just not single. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I think it, this, it sort of grew in... A, I can't get... I can't grow, I've married 10 years now or nine years. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't get... I can't shake the shake the image, but uh, I like to stick up for my partners. They put themselves out there and put themselves through a lot, and if I enjoy their, their company and I'm, pr I'm proud of them, I'm absolutely going to stick you've, up. You've seen the work that they've put in as well, and you almost take offence on yeah. their behalf, yeah. didn't you? Yeah, I mean, this year in, in particular, we had uh, we had quite harsh criticism from the from yeah. the judges, one or two in particular, and, and it was quite... It's quite hard to take because Charlotte was giving her it all and she certainly wasn't, uh, I keep telling her, I told her every day, I know you're not a natural performer, she used to hate me for it. But, uh, <laughs> you know, compared to the others who, who had all of this performance sort of ability before they showed up, for what she did, I thought she did a fantastic job. I thought she was one. great as well. We're it's talking a... about Charlotte Hawkins, by the yes, way. Yes, yes. It's a strange one, Brendan, the show, I know the show is built and built and built, but we're getting more access to it in terms of, you know, the the Strictly uh, BBC Two show that runs alongside yeah, every yeah, week. Fun. And we kind of get a window into what the celebs have to do in terms of the commitment to it. But I still don't think people realise how much of an actual commitment it is on their behalf, which ties into what you're saying, that you stand up for them, because they really do have to put, put a shift in. in. That... It's not like going to the jungle where you lie in a hammock for a week and a no, half. No, 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 no. It's 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 a commitment beyond commitment. You uh, you spend every moment sort of thinking about it, even if you're not in the studio or in a dress fitting or in a photo shoot or on the studio floor doing a, doing the run through. Everything, it's all consuming. It takes over your, your whole life. Uh, the pros, we start 31st of July. We've got all the pro numbers to put together. So we're in a, it's a, it's a good four and a half month period taking up every day. And, and it's, a, it's a juggernaut of a show. So there 
has to be that level of work going on behind the scenes. And yeah. I, I think most people do recognise that. Emotionally we have a list of your partners, okay. right? Um, Cross on them. Will you give us a line or two, maybe, on each other? Just a line. Shout out the name. Oh, go on, let's you, go. Just you, a line. You, you were Why paired not? naturally with naturally good dancers, and then you had some really dodgy ones as well. I've so, had some dodges. Um, so say natural one. or dodgy. Just give us a natural or dodgy. <laughs> yeah, 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 go okay. on. Uh, Natasha Kaplinsky. Natural. Yeah. Natural, OK. Um, Sarah Manners, she was from Casualty. She's natural, but a bit dodgy. Didn't like her very much. OK, a hybrid. All right. Fiona Phillips. Uh, not natural, but nice enough girl. But lovely, lovely, lovely girl. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Claire King from Corrie. Uh, thought Never she was done. nice, but turned out a bit dodgy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Kelly Brook. <laughs> Kelly Brook, lovely girl. Nice. Oh, and you know and what? She, you were favourites to win that, and she had to opt out. She, 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 did, have dad to, died. she yeah. did have to opt out, but um, probably one of the most natural people I've ever danced with in that environment on, on, in, the stri in terms of strictness. When you say natural people, natural dancer, or just talk to her naturally? Talk just, to the she, was, she, was, she had an, an ability which yeah. uh, very few have, and I, probably oh, one of my... Oh, you love her even more now, don't you? Uh, she's a lovely girl. Uh, yeah. I'll send you regards. <laughs> Please tell her I said hello. Oh, so, I'm said hello. And if she could um, text me back, it'll be warm. Call <laughs> <laughs> <I'll get into laughs> me. Uh, Lisa Snowden. Gorgeous girl. Again, yeah. uh, real, real natural. Yeah, one of my favourites. Um, Joe Wood. Joe Wood. What a delight. Terrible, terrible, terrible dancer. We just went for lunch every day. It was, it yeah, was she no, didn't have any natural no. ability. There was no she? point. She won't mind me saying that. Sorry, Joe. No. Uh, Michelle Williams, Destiny's Michelle Child. Williams. Should have been amazing. Yeah. Was woefully bad at the dancing, uh, wow. but a nice girl. Well, right. You would expect her to be incredible, I wouldn't know. you? Uh, Lulu. Don't mention the war. Oh, wow. <laughs> Moving on swiftly. That says yeah, so which much. she didn't put um, carry Victoria on. Pendleton, the cyclist. Uh, wrong time for Victoria to do the show yeah. uh, straight after the Olympics, but a, a, a lovely person, uh, a good friend of mine. Sophie Alice Baxter. Perfect partner. Absolutely. Really? Perfect partner. From start In to finish. In every way. Yeah, perfect. She was, uh, we didn't have a single argument for the entire time. You do have a little, little, of little, you do, little yeah, yeah. niggles here and there. Just, just delightful, yeah. Right. Is that it? You finish your list? Well, I was going to skip through <laughs> to Kirsty Gallagher. About halfway through. Kirsty, oh, she's lovely. Again, not quite, yeah. not the right temperament for the show. It was too intense well, for lovely. for her at her time of life. But Let's talk yeah. about your show. Let's talk about that. Because when you're not, from the 31st of July to Christmas, you're strictly. So in your time off, you decide, actually, I'll put together my own two-hour show with 30 yeah. musicians, eight dancers. And shall we go on the road? Shall we hit the road? So right. what's the show about? Tell us about the show. Uh, it's my th favourite thing to do, to be on a stage, to be... I mean, if you imagine what we do on Strictly, all the, all the dances that you see on Strictly, whether it be a, a waltz or a quick step or a jive or a samba, mm. we, we throw it all together um, and it's, it's a big show. It's, it's my passion. I want to go out there, I want to put on a performance, I want to bring a little bit of the Strictly magic to a, to a stage because seeing dance live, it's it's really really. But what form exciting. does the show take, Brendan? In terms of like, are you taking us through a history of dance? Are you, are you nah. narrating? Is there a narrative through it's it? It's not or? really a narrative. It's more a case of a, a lot of anecdotes from Strictly. We we talk a bit of nonsense behind the scenes uh, uh, between the between the dancing and, and the chat. I'm on the microphone. Is uh, I mean you got you got world class musicians there. Yeah. They play with Michael Bublé, Tom Jones. These guys play with the very best. So, so to have them on the stage. And you you played a bit of the guitar yourself. In the well, show. I, I do. I just I, my musicians. I've been working. This is my fourth production uh, after, right. over the last 10 years and uh, they after being together so long um, we often I've been talking I'd love to be a musician yeah, what yeah. they do is just incredible yeah, is. And they said listen we're gonna set you a challenge learn to play something and come and play with us on the stage like See a bit of guitar. that's a bit, a bit of a challenge so I just pick up the guitar and and, and play a uh, uh, an Ed Sheeran song while a couple of my dancers oh, just uh, off the just, cuff just, as, yeah, as you do just, well you know it's only eight chords I can't, I can't play anything else but yeah, I just but do you love play them it. in the wrong just, order that's the thing. Yeah, in the right order. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so there's 56 shows across and Ireland the and the UK, here, oh, and we have details here. But thank you very it's much been a for joining thank us. Thank you for having me. You're not a bad great. boy. He's all never. Right. No, no, he's not. Sometimes. He just likes yeah. the title. We're going to have some bread and butter pudding now. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I don't think he eats bread and butter pudding. No, I'm going to Brendan will be too. performing at the Cork Opera House on March 27th, the Waterfront Theatre in Belfast on the 28th, and the 29th of March in the Borgosh Energy Theatre Dublin on the 30th and the 31st of March in Czech. Check out brendancolelive.com or the venues individually for all the booking details.